a new mailbag arrived. This is a very special postbag. As you see, I even cleaned my Swiss army knife. Why that? Because this is the most expensive mailbag I ever did. Circumstances and the well-meaning gods of international logistics made it possible. Again, I had to separate it into two parts. Poyechali! As Yuri Gagarin said before he started his first flight to the orbit. The first one is unpackaged. It is a Hack RF1 SDR radio with antennas and uh, it can be used as a receiver and as a transmitter and it is connected to a PC. This is part of my SDR series or SDR video. I will do an introduction into SDR maybe in summer sometimes. Software Defined Radio is one of the most important developments in radio technology. Analog receivers and transmitters get more and more replaced with digital ones. This is a similar development which happened long time ago in low frequency applications. With conventional technology you need a special transmitter and receiver for each application. With SDR you only change the software and your device changes from being an FM radio station to a LoRa transmitter for example, or to a ham radio station. Each maker should have a basic understanding of this technology to decide where it can be of help for his projects. Send from China.com RTL SDR Dongle I can listen to pretty much everything I want. All radio stations, but also many other things. This one does not need a Swiss Army knife because it's already unpackaged. And it has a reason I had to pay taxes for this because this is quite expensive. In Switzerland, we everything below $65 is duty free, but this was way more than that. And it is a LiDAR light from Garmin. And uh, I ordered this one at SparkFun. The whole thing is just uh, safety and product information, but it's just warnings and, and stuff like that. We don't need it. Now this is a little bit more information. It is can be used for different applications and it has a I2C interface or a, P, a PWM, but uh, I think I will use the I2C and it has a performance of at least that's what they write, 40 meters and the resolution is 1 centimeters and the accuracy is 2.5 centimeters below 5 meters and 10 centimeters above 5 meters. And it can be driven quite fast, 270 hertz typical. So we will see how this works. This came a little later and it is from DHL, but it should also be from China. It is from DF Robot and it is a RP LiDAR system. Nicely packaged. Uh -huh. Very good packaging here that nothing is destroyed because this is quite a delicate thing. And it is a LiDAR system which can rotate 360 degrees. And here is the opening where the measurement is done. And here we have a motor. I assume it is a small stepper motor. It's a normal USB to serial adapter. That we can use it either for, with USB cable for the PC or 
with the RXDX pins for our Arduino or ESP projects. Frequent viewers know that I got this other LiDAR, small LiDAR, a few weeks ago. And you see, I already started to build a project with um, some 3D printed parts to get this 360 degree rotation. And you might also remember this device here. And the idea is what exactly what we have here. But then I discovered that DF Robot has a RP LiDAR, just a very new one. We were able to buy these already for $300, $400, but this is now below $100. And then uh, I asked them whether they will send me one and I got it free of charge uh, to, to, to try it. And I'm very happy because like that I can stop my mechanics project and concentrate more on electronics, which is, as everybody knows, uh, more my speciality than, uh, than mechanics. Cool device. <laughs> One of the viewers asked me to clean up my knife before I start. You see, I did it today and you see how much it is worth. After one or two packages, it's already dirty again. So that's probably why I do not clean it all the time. And this one also I had to unpackage because of customs. It's a laser rangefinder. Viewers who saw my video about my own range find the project remember that i said i will order one and this one arrived now it is a laser range finder has also two openings but of course they are much bigger than the ones of the old range finder and you can look through it to point to your target and it should have a range of 1,500 meters, which is quite a lot. The other one promised 100 meters and delivered probably 10 to 15 meters. And this one promises 1,500 meters. And uh, we will see if this works. I will do a special video about that. And I hope I can somehow look also inside this device without destroying it completely to find out if this is really using time of flight because for 1500 meters i assume it has to use time of flight this one here came a little bit later from digikey from the united states this time support america first a little bit i had to wait a long time for this package i ordered it a few months ago It is an AD ALM Pluto SDR Active Learning Module with Mr. Professor on the front. The device itself. It is of plastic and it is made from analog devices itself. It's a demonstration unit and it's made for RF learning. It covers obviously from 325 to 3.8 gigahertz and it has a transmitter and a receiver built in. This is why it has two antennas here and you can connect it to your PC. Now I have three different SDR products. The SDR dongle as the cheapest possibility, the ADALM Pluto as more expensive. This is in the range of $20, $30. This is in the range of $100. And the most expensive one, the Hack RF1, which also has a sender and a receiver. This one is even more expensive. This is all planned for a SDR introduction. And I want to check which one is best for you guys to start with, with SDR. The next one is from a viewer in Greece. They have some nice old stuff there in Hellas, which is, I think, uh, Greece in Greek. 4056, something with charging, I assume. And another 4056. 
So this one here is a lithium charger do-it-yourself garden night lights. It has a it it has a LDR here. You can put a lithium battery on this on these poles and a 12 volt LED strip on this terminal. And here you have the voltage to charge the battery and also to feed the LED. Now you charge here, for example, with a solar panel. You charge the battery during the day and during the night uh, you can drive your LEDs. The second one is a lithium battery charger and booster. You can connect voltage from here through these terminals, through this barrel connector and through USB and you connect a battery here and you can charge the battery from these sources here but you have also a booster and you can select the voltage for the booster here up to more than 20 volts and here you have current limiting jumpers so I get help now from Ms. Dishka She doesn't want to be alone. So, but we have to continue. This is a very versatile device. And Christos has a Tindy store and he has more uh, boards on sale. This is, by the way, the store owner Christos. He sells more than these two boards. Most of them have to do with uh, charging and uh, batteries. This is all we had to show today. We hope you enjoyed this first part of my most expensive mailbag and that it does not hurt your wallet too much. Till the next part. Bye.